I've always loved the idea of my foot stepping on a piece of the earth that it's never stepped on before. That's my absolute favorite thing about traveling. We are on our way to Midway Airport. Our flight's delayed an hour and a half, which we could have used the last flight because we actually missed our first flight uh, in years, about two days ago. Anyway, we're here in the car, about to cross over 9094, and we're gonna go wait at the airport for a little bit. We're getting ready to fly to Minneapolis, to our new home that we just bought. It's a uh, condo actually, and we're gonna set up some more stuff because right now we just have a bed and a TV, the essentials. So last night we finished the fourth performance of the Trojans, the Toyin at the Chicago Lyric Opera. Uh, it was a great show. I had some family in town for it, so that was really nice. We went out afterwards to a really nice sushi restaurant called Jellyfish, and uh, just packed up this morning. Pretty uneventful. Normally I'm a little stressed out when I pack, but this morning was easy because I got a email from Delta saying that our flight is an hour and a half delayed. We got first class and so that's nice and because uh, our bags are way overweight, so we'll see how it goes. for me is it's funny the first thing that comes to mind is stressful <laughs> but when I'm in the actual place it's really nice but travel days are normally pretty stressful until I leave the house and then the dice are thrown and the die is cast you know that sort of thing it's not it's all gonna be the way it is at that point I'm very very zen about travel once I'm in the car on the way to the airport at the airport I always live by the motto that you get more bees with honey and places like that if things go wrong and lots of people are angry and being mean you be the one person that's being nice and uh, oftentimes you can at least be appreciated for not being mean but yeah travel travels fun TSA pre only, or you can pay $100 and get global entry, and TSA pre comes free with it. So if you're gonna do that, I don't even know why I'm telling you this, because now you're gonna be making the line longer for me, but anyway, always go TSA pre if you can. So I, um, I travel a lot, and uh, 
I want to talk about the priority status with each airline. I had Platinum and Delta, and in the beginning it worked really well, but all of a sudden you get these people using the credit cards that are associated with those airlines, and they get the miles that are the, they're called medallion qualification miles. They're the equivalent of flown miles. So I'd be flying 75,000, 100,000 miles a year with Delta, and I'd get a good status. And then somebody that flew 15,000 miles but spent a lot of money on their credit card would have the same status as me. So I've come up with a new way to do things. I do the minimum requirement for the lowest amount of uh, status in all United, American, and Delta. And so if you can work that out, I think it's a better way to go because you get a few perks rather than one large perk. Walk way in. So I get a lot of questions about what my favorite airline is, and I gotta say I hate all of them, but I also love all of them because any one of them can have a mistake. And so if you start hating one airline or another because of one slight, then you're gonna end up a hermit and never traveling anywhere. So um, every airline messes up now. Uh, I mean, there some of the cheaper airlines you can just put in a different category, but I'd say for the most part, the major airlines are all equally as bad as they are good. So, being the uh, travel Jedi that I am, I got us on a uh, standby for another flight that lifts an uh, hour and a half earlier. Um, and actually, it's not delayed, and that's what I'm getting on right now. So, uh, word of the wise, whenever your flight's delayed, always call and see if there's any other options. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not sitting with my wife, but we're about to go and hopefully make some uh, airline magic again. Get your chi on when you fly. Always be, be chill, get your chi on. Things always work out. You always get through eventually. returning to the airport, picking up those bags, and then returning home. So I'm finally back home, finally able to relax, chill out, have a beer, and uh, couldn't be happier in my new home. This place is pretty fantastic. So uh, anyway, cheers to all you people. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. Here's to many more to follow.
Timo. What is this? What is this? What is this? Timo. No. What is this? No. What did you do? What is this? Timo. Did you eat the dog treats? Did we leave for 30 seconds and you pull all the dog treats out of our bag? Is that what you did? Did you eat this? We'll still keep you. We won't get rid of you. We won't send you back to the streets. Little street dog. Little street dog thug takes what he wants, does what he likes. That's what he does. Street dog thug. Should I just do this like so? Yeah. Oh, my hair. Can you tuck that in? Yeah. Yeah, it's better tucked in.